Hi, I'm QDC. Right now we're in London, England, and right behind me is the famous Downing Street in which uh, the Prime Minister actually stays. So I'm here in London to um, pretty just introduce my kit, which is Tamiya's 148th scale, uh, Tamiya's Churchill tank. So this is going to be a good build, and so uh, let's go ahead and start building this kit right now. Let's go take a look inside this box. We have the weights. Parts of the trailer. Wheels and the tracks. Parts of the upper hull, lower hull and suspension, and the instruction sheet. Tamiya offers you two versions of the Churchill tank. The first version is the normal version and the second version that I'm going to make is going to be the crocodile version, the flamethrower version. To make the flamethrower version, Tamiya requires you to make a hole right here and right there. And I'm going to use this pin vise to do that.
Okay, so we built the model kit. Now it's time for me to show you what I think about this kit so far. Take a look. This is the completed model kit after assembly, and I find this model kit very easy to build. It's surprising how easy it is to build, and at the same time, it turned out to be highly detailed. The amazing thing that I found great about this kit was the assembly of these small wheels. When I first bought this kit, I thought it was going to be a nightmare assembling all these 11 wheels on this side to make the tracks but it wasn't it was basically two uh, two parts and so it was easy to build really and you can't even tell that it was made out of two parts all these wheels except you know there is none it just looks that good so what can I say it's just a very good model kit to build I really enjoyed it and it was easy so I Highly recommend this model kit for both the beginner, highly recommend for the beginner, you're going to love it, and also for the advanced modeler too. I can't see how anyone would not like build this model kit. It's small, yes, but at the same time, it's really that good. It's time for me to paint the model. I'm going to create some mud effects. What I'm going to use is that I'm going to use ordinary flour to make that mud effect. 
What I have in my right hand is just ordinary paint put on a brush and that's going to be my glue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just paint on the glue to areas where I want mud like so and then with the flour I'm going to sprinkle it on to make that mud effect. It's time to paint the model. I already gave the entire model a coat of black uh, undercoat and now I'm going to use my airbrush and start painting the model with the main color. I'm going to spray the wheels and part of the undercarriage with brown color to simulate dried mud. I want to talk to you, um, well, really I want to give you a brief history about what I'm pointing at. This is the badge of the 79th Armored Division. And Tamiya has included that um, badge in this model kit, which is quite cool. What is the 79th Armored Division? It is the specialized division um, of, for lack of better words, uh, gadgets that the British used uh, on their tanks and it was commanded by Major General Percy Hobart and so these gadgets that was put on the tanks they're also known as the funnies and in my opinion I think the Hobart's funnies the 79th, the 79th Army Division was a very key uh, element on the initial day uh, of, of D-Day really and you might have seen or heard about Hobart's funnies and one of the most famous ones that I could think of that you might know of is the Sherman Flail. It's basically an ordinary Sherman tank but a gadget was placed right in front of it. It looks kind of like a strange windmill and it actually flails mines, uh, clears out mines and you've probably seen that in pictures and that is part of the 79th Armored Division. And if you look very carefully, this symbol, this badge, is a face of a bull. I'm going to add some chip paint. I'm going to add some pin washing. I finished dry brushing the entire model using this color and it brought out the nice details. I'm going to create some soot for the gun blast. What you see right here is a piece of black pastel chalk and I'm going to use that to simply give the muzzle a black soot.
I just finished painting the figure and as you can well tell it's highly detailed. I'm very impressed with Tamiya's attention to detail for this 148 scale model kit. Okay, so we built the model kit, we painted it, we weathered it, and now it's time for me to show you the entire model kit from the beginning to the end. Take a look. This is the completed model kit after painting and weathering, and I am satisfied with my work. I especially like the mud effects I've done right here by painting the undercarriage and the wheel a light brown and I am impressed with the included figure on this kit. The painting is very nice and I'm very satisfied with my with my work. This is a very nice model kit and I think all skill levels especially for the beginner uh, to build one. There is there are some people that are out there who thinks that 148 scale is not a good scale for uh, for them to you uh, for them to build, but I would challenge for um, those people to just try this particular kit. This Churchill tank is just a easy to build and highly detailed model kit. I like it, and to give you some history about this particular vehicle, this is the Churchill crocodile and. You could tell it's a crocodile because of its trailer. This is a flamethrowing version of the Churchill tank. It was very deadly for its time, and um, it's quite an impressive uh, gadget, the flamethrowing version of this particular tank. Uh, there is a video that I'm going to include. Uh, it was made by the Tank Museum in Bovington. And the curator, David Fletcher, has given a very nice brief documentary about this particular tank. And I think you should watch it. It's well worth watching to understand the power of this Churchill Crocodile tank. That completes the model project. What you're about to see is a video slideshow of the entire model kit. But before I go, as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a model kit expert. I am not an expert. I'm just a regular guy just like you. So I hope you enjoy this video and please build a model kit of your own. I'm QDC and thanks for watching. Bye bye.